Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be <clears throat> an OC introduction video for a new OC named Irene, who is an elf with um, space and time, no, star powers. So I'm going to read her backstory right now. Irene was born on the 9th of May in the year 2001. She was the oldest of eight children, and after her mom's death, she had to care for them all while saving the universe. Irene's family is human with no magic, but she is an elf with star powers, meaning she can control space and time and time travel. She has unusual white and gold stars under her right eye and above her eyebrow. Her bright pink hair leads people to think she's a bubbly, ex extroverted person, but she's really quite shy. She can most commonly be found cooking for her family or practicing her magic. Irene is 15, but on her 16th birthday, as a prophecy predicted, she will be sent to an awful place and meet the one who cursed her with powers and killed her mother. Irene wears large bandages around her arms and legs due to the unusual golden white stars, which she covers up because she finds them really embarrassing. Irene's family is poor, but she works four jobs to try and support them. Irene knows she can't ever stop using her powers, for she constantly has to protect her planet. She lives in a kingdom called Shidonia, um, and I have a couple other OCs who live in the same planet, but in a different kingdom called Analkia. So yeah, Irene is a pretty cool character, and the way it's spelt is a bit different. Normally, Irene would be spelled I-R-E-N-E, -E, but in this case, it's E-I-R-E-N-E. -E. <laughs> um, that's the Greek way of spelling it. And there's actually a Greek goddess named Irene. and who, She is the goddess of peace. So I thought it was a pretty cool name. And yeah, uh, I really like how she looks. I really love her design and the bandages and the little gold and white stars, which you can't see right now during the illustration, but... You will see them later, and later on I actually added glitter with my spigot pen to the galaxy, and a, and a little bit to, excuse me, a little bit to her shoes. Um, yeah, so she's pretty fun, she's a nice character, and she actually does interact with a couple of other OCs, the ones who live in, Al in Alkia, and those, there will be separate videos for them as well, but I... Uh, don't have full backstories for them yet, so, yeah, um, uh, I started off with using watercolors for the galaxy because I wanted to get a softer look, but unfortunately my watercolor pan is really crappy, and it's really just not opaque, so I just went over it with Copic markers, and I tried to still use more pastel colors, but it didn't really look like a galaxy, it just looked like a big blob, so I had to add a dark blue color, and I actually messed up on the coloring of the shirt because I thought it was B66 when really the color of the shirt for the base is BV17, but I thought it was B66 because the skirt is B66. So that was a little mistake. And I tried some new editing tricks and stuff. Um, the editor that I use, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it that I never really realized you could do, and I'm pretty glad that this, this editor is awesome. If anybody wonders, is wondering, um, the editor is Video Show, which is available on Samsung and iPhone, and I don't know if it's available on anything else, but <coughs> it might be. Just go check in your, uh, store for like getting applications um i had some trouble with my tripod but i figured it out i don't know what was wrong with it but it was really loose and wouldn't let me film properly so <clears throat> thankfully i noticed that there was something wrong with it before i started filming because there has been times where i just forget and yeah, so I have a new sketchbook, and it's the Canson Mixed Media one, and so far I've done like three drawings, and they're all of Irene. I am kind of obsessed with her, but yeah, uh, 
So I use my Copic markers, Prismacolor pencils, uh, Uniball Signo, and some Zenzoid gel pens, my Spica glitter pens, and I don't know the brand of these watercolors because they don't have it saved on the palette, and I don't know where they came from. So, yeah. Oh, did I mention I use my Prism color pencils? I have a feeling that I did, but I don't know. And, and I also have a new supply. I have some Stabilo pens, or like three of them, because I only had $3, and at my local art store, they're 85 cents. So that's pretty awesome. I got like a teal color, a light purple, and a dark brown. Because the Copic Multiliner Sepia, it's nice, but sometimes I just wanted something a bit darker, so I outlined like everything in it with the Stabilo. So here I'm just signing my signature, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.